Well, you know, bourbon tourism has become one of the hottest things to do here in Louisville, in the state for that matter, right? Whether you want to be a tourist in your own hometown or maybe you're looking for something really exciting to do to entertain some guests that are coming in town. Uh, you have to do a little bit of homework, though, ahead of time to plan that perfect bourbon adventure. And Stacey Yates is actually going to do some homework for us and help us plan out our adventure. She's with Louisville Tourism. You know, Stacey, I was really blown away by, like, the different things that you sent me. And I thought, you know, we tend to think typical distillery visits and that's it. It, I mean, wow, it just, it goes on and on and on. We've come a long way. We sure have. We? I mean, we are truly living up this to this aspirational brand we started about 15 years ago. We, we called ourselves the gateway to bourbon country back mm -hmm. then because we didn't have the product on the ground here in Louisville. And now we truly are living up to a true bourbon city with all the offerings. You know, and there's so many bourbon experiences to check out the distilleries, but you had mentioned too, they, they book up really far in advance, so you have to look for alternatives. They I do, mean, you talk about your homework, you know, I, I, we talk about this all the time on staff, in no way would I be going to Napa, for example, in yeah. California and not book ahead, right? And people aren't realizing that here, so we're getting these droves of people coming on the weekends. You can see them downtown yes. with their uh, little mini bats and yeah. their Evan Williams bags, right? Um, but a lot of times they're really disappointed if they haven't booked out about two, three months in advance right now. Really? The distillery tours is not going to be an option. Now, fortunately, uh, there There's are plenty some other things. things to do. Yeah. yeah, and you're really seeing these kind of really pop up this summer. Um, just things that are related to bourbon. That's right. We call aspect. it beyond the distillery tour, and it really enhances, even if you have done your homework and you've got three or four distillery tours booked, these are the kinds of things you're going to want to do to get that full immersive experience about the culture that makes our area so interesting. Right. I love what a lot of places are doing with this bottle your own. That's that's really fun and that's a secret too. You know, a lot of people come here looking for a special bourbon that they can't find back home, whether they're coming from Chicago or um, Texas, California, uh, and that's because there a lot of bourbon is an out allocation right yeah, now, right? You yeah. hear about these unicorn bottles. It's the, the pappy effect, they call it, right? <laughs> yeah. So everybody wants something special. Uh, and one way to do that at some of these distilleries is to do a um, bottle your own, and it usually is at a higher price point because it's a even more premium, special, mm. hard to find, maybe single barrel bourbon. Right. Uh, and a couple of our local distilleries have those. And what a fun experience to go home and tell your friends and family, or even to be a tourist here, and say, okay, let's go for the weekend and let's bottle our own. Who gets to and do you that? Can, and in a lot of cases, you get to put your name on the label. Oh, uh, another fun experience. Oh, I bet is, that gets creative. Uh, it very, oh, it gets oh, very oh, creative. <laughs> um, there's been some news reports about <laughs> extra creative recently, but we won't go there. Uh, but Bourbon and Billets is a new experience mm. uh, that people would maybe not think of at the Louisville Slugger uh, Museum uh -huh. and Bat Factory. They've created this whole experience where you can come in and make your own bourbon, blend it. You can be a, basically an old-fashioned rectifier with um, some bourbon that they've uh, made and it's um, been aged in different wood grains uh, like what bats would be right. made out of hence the billets and you can bottle your own per your own taste profile that you've created kind of like a little chemist yeah uh, it's a whole fun experience and then you can even put your own logo on that bottle so that's uh, uh, a lot it's of fun like as well. a field trip for parents it really is <laughs> for adults it I mean, really is because i really i love i mean it yes it is fun to do but i love the educational aspect of it is that we are learning a little bit about where bourbon comes from or learning about the history of the slugger museum or or bourbon itself so throughout true. the state and you know? to me my favorite place to start a bourbon tour always for anybody uh, speaking of history is at the phrase yeah, uh, and it's not just for the you know that's where um, I think the other slogan is where Kentucky's history starts or something like that. You get a full uh, dose of that in Louisville's history, but you talk about the bourbon uh, storage and heritage. That's really where it begins. Um, so I would recommend that before you did any other distillery tour to get your grounding and yeah, basis there. Yeah, you started there. Uh, they're the official gateway to the Kentucky Bourbon Trail as well, and they have um, basically travel counselors that can help you plan your whole itinerary. That's kind of a, a really uh, well kept secret. That's a very concierge kind it, of like, it is. service. It customized. is. You know, there's plenty of places that are um, private companies that, that mm -hmm. charge a fee to do that and they're very well run and, and get you into some extra special things. But really, from an affordability standpoint, if you wanted to start there, uh, they can help you and they, and they might direct you yeah. to some of those That's if you have a little tip, higher in taste. That's great. Try to have and they some. also have this wonderful class right now that teaches you how to make your own old fashioned. They do, which is Louisville's official cocktail. Mm. It was declared officially by the mayor in 2015, even though it's been. Uh, our, our official cocktail for uh, over 100 years, mm -hmm. thanks to a gentleman by the name of um, Tom Bullock, uh, who is um, legendarily said to have created the recipe uh, that is on this book still 
at the Pedennis Club. Uh, he wrote a book called The Ideal Bartender in 1917. He was the first black bartender to publish a cocktail book, mm. so we're very proud of that in Louisville. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and at the Fraser, they're telling this story about uh, Tom Bullock and uh, teaching you how to, to make the official cocktail in a really fun class that lasts, I just did it, it lasts about a half an hour. Uh, it's part That's of it. That's not a big investment. No, See, I was thinking, oh, how long, I always think how long are things, right? Right, because no, I got so other things to do. That is a really good time Perfect amount of time, you, it's, it's very experiential. You get to right. you know, squeeze that orange, muddle, do all that, and then sit there, sip, and, and talk about it with your fellow guests. But again, do your homework because they're adding another class because it's so they popular right now. They just launched it a couple weeks ago. It's already filling up, and they just added another day. So I look for them, we'll see. We'll see what Andy pulls off. Right. But I, I look for them to maybe do it seven days a week, hopefully. Love it. Yeah. More and more happening. Thanks so much for stopping by. Absolutely. T showing us and telling us things that, you know, it's, it's new to us. Right, and there's just so much happening. I want to so. say one more thing for locals, mm -hmm. um, keeping up with all this. Uh, we've got a, a weekly newsletter that goes out. It goes out on Wednesdays, and it's a look ahead at our top picks for what's going on for that weekend. Perfect. It's mainly for um, regional travelers to get induce that short-term visit, but it's a good little list of what's going on right in the weekend. With, with prices right now, it, it's staying local is more appealing than ever. So go to Louisville.com to sign up. All right, Stacey, okay. thank you so much. Thanks for all right, me. yeah, to get started, just go to go to Louisville dot com.